So guys, the time has finally come. The embargo on the Pixel 5 has been officially lifted and now I can finally talk about it all I want. No restrictions. Nobody stopping me, baby. All right, well, that was cringy. So anyway, the Samsung Galaxy S20 OnlyFans Edition, or the Fans Edition, whatever you want to call it, up against the Pixel 5 without an embargo. I can say anything I want about this phone. And I have a lot to say, so let's get into it. First of all, this review is not going to be as spec heavy as my other reviews because I want this review that, you know, a, a lot of people will be able to understand, basically, is what I'm saying, okay? Uh, for example, if you don't know what the heck a Snapdragon is, guess what? This review is for you. But for those of you that want to know the specs between these two phones, here you go. Have a look. Have a, have a nice little pause session. But don't pause too long because uh, we still got the rest of this very long video to get over. Let's start out by talking about the design of these two phones. The Samsung Galaxy S20 FE has a plastic build along with aluminum borders. The rear of the phone houses three cameras, the main camera, telephoto camera, along with an ultra wide camera. You keeping up with me? Did I lose you? Good, let's keep going. The top of the Galaxy S20 FE has the SIM slot along with a expandable storage. Keep this in mind, this is very important. And then we also got the noise canceling mic. The bottom of the phone has the usual speaker and the USB-C port, nothing interesting here. The phone does do bilateral wireless charging so you can charge your phone wirelessly and charge on the, another device wirelessly um, by using the power share feature. The front of the phone has a 6.5 inch 1080p 120 hertz display along with a selfie camera, which has this very, very annoying silver circle around it. The side of the Galaxy has a power button along with your volume rockers. Taking a look at the Pixel 5, the design of the Pixel 5 is definitely very interesting. The entire phone is aluminum, even the borders of the phone. It looks incredibly sleek, great to hold, but even crazier is that you still get to keep bilateral wireless charging, even though it's an aluminum build. Now, if you guys compare the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE to the Pixel 5, in my strong opinion, the Pixel 5 feels a little bit more premium. It looks a little bit more premium. You don't got that really weird, annoying silver... Uh, it would help if I could talk. <laughs> you don't have that weird silver circle around the... Uh, around the selfie camera. Overall, it's just a very, a very good phone. It's aluminum, but it feels very soft to the touch. I like it. I really like it. It's a nice looking phone. The top of the Pixel 5 has just a noise canceling microphone. The side of the Pixel has the SIM slot. This is not expandable. What, it, what, it, what you buy is what you get. Okay, if you run out of uh, storage, oh well, delete something. What did you guys think of the Apple event? I don't know. It was 5G. That's it. Just 5G, 5G, and 5G. The other side of the Pixel has your volume rocker and this very stylish chrome power button, which adds some nice contrast with the rest of the phone. The front of the Pixel 5 has a 6-inch 1080p 90Hz display along with a more premium looking selfie camera that doesn't have that annoying silver circle. Overall, if we're going just on physical appearance, just on the physical appearances on these two phones, front, back, side to side, we're getting it. <laughs> the the S20 FE, in my, uh, in my opinion, looks better. Just Samsung, why? Why is that silver thing in there? Your more premium phones don't have it, and I understand this is supposed to be the budget version of the S20 lineup, but damn, man, why you gotta make it stand out? It's even if the screen's off, you can still see it perfectly. It's very annoying. But other than that, this phone, in my opinion, just looks a little bit better, and it offers way more colors. So if you like colors on your phone, Galaxy. But if we're going on premium looks, then this, the Pixel 5 wins. It definitely feels like the more premium device, which it is, this is the flagship. Meanwhile, this is not the flagship. This is the budget version. So it would make sense that they had to cut costs, costs, what, what? They had to cut costs somewhere to make this phone be at its price tag. This being the flagship, yes, I expect it to be a little bit more premium feeling and it is and um, yeah. Nice aluminum build. It doesn't feel aluminum. Like I said, it's very nice and soft and you still get to wirelessly charge, which is very, I think this is the first time we have an aluminum phone that can wirelessly charge. So, hey, 
gotta give credit where credit is due. Now, I'm not gonna go over the operating systems of, the, of both of these phones because listen, this video is, is going to be over an hour long if I do that. And honestly, I don't think you guys wanna sit here for an hour. So what else can I tell you about these two phones and which one you should pick up? Let's take a look at the photo quality. The photos you are seeing now are taken from the main lenses of each of the two phones. Now, photos are usually a very opinionated aspect when it comes to choosing which is right for you. Some people might prefer a warmer tone. Some people might prefer a cooler tone. So I'll just shut up and let the photos do the talking. I'll also include which mode I'm in. Either I'm in night mode, normal mode, uh, wide angle, not wide angle, telephoto. Now, by the way, this uh, the, the Pixel doesn't have telephoto. It only has two cameras, like I said. This has a telephoto, a three times optical zoom telephoto. So when I, when it, whenever you guys see a telephoto shot, I'm just gonna be using the Pixel and I'm gonna be digitally zooming in three times to match the three times optical on this phone. There's a lot of uh, spec talk in there, so uh, just enjoy the just enjoy it. Shut up, enjoy it. So in terms of cameras, again, very opinionated. It's um, it's hard to pick. In my opinion, Galaxy wins. Why? Because more versatile. You get more cameras. Uh, the camera qualities on both of the phones, they're, it's a mixed bag. Some shots Pixel did better. Some shots Galaxy looked more prettier. Maybe, you know, <laughs> it's so different, man. Like, I don't know. Every Any single time I give my opinion on a photo, someone in the comments is like, Mark, you're wrong. So what, what do I do at this point? I'm deleting my YouTube channel. Have a good night. All jokes aside, in my opinion, Pixel did better with uh, exposure and balancing the shot, uh, the, the white balance way better on the Pixel, at least in the, in the shot with the, with the cat. Uh, that chair wasn't orange, yellow. It was gray, like the Pixel showed it to be. So Pixel definitely did, uh, did good in that aspect. White balance, exposure, beautiful. The rest is kind of like really up to you, but on the video side of things, Pixel is super good. <laughs> Except if you live in a very hot climate like I do. Um, ha have a look. So now I'm recording 4K60 on both of these phones. I'm just holding them still uh, one-handed. Uh, my hands are kind of shaky because it's hot outside and I'm burning my feet because of the sun in Florida is just uh, uh, brutal. Let me just put it that way. So now let's, go, let's just go ahead and take a walk and see which one. Oh, this is funny. I have a warning on the pixel. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh my God, let me get somewhere close. Oh, the warning went away. But the warning said that it got too hot and uh, it can't record video. I'm literally trying to record the video and it's not letting me. <laughs> it's like grayed out. I'm tapping on it. It's not recording video. Oh, that sucks. The Pixel told me the phone got too hot while recording a video and it just stopped recording. The problem with that is I was only recording for like a minute. I was only outside for a solid minute. I literally walked out the front door, clicked record, and that's it. The phone overheated that quick. It was 84 degrees outside. And for all you normal people out there, that equals out to be, I forgot, hang on, uh, what is it? 28.8 .8 Celsius. I have to take notes somehow, okay? Don't judge me. So, so 28 degrees Celsius, 28.8, .8, the phone overheated within about a minute of being outside. You know, I, again, I have to give the win to the Galaxy. I have never had a Galaxy overheat on me while recording 4K 60. It only did it once when I was recording 8K 30, which, you know, hey, makes sense. But when the Pixel is recording video properly, it's very stable. I got to give credit where credit is due. They did a fantastic job on the 4K 60 stabilization. I mean, it looks scary good. But in my opinion, video recording shouldn't really be your, um, you know, uh, what you have to worry about when picking two phones. 
both of these phones record fantastic video and in fact you do get another lens to record video with so technically again more versatile you know maybe a little bit better stabilization here pick and choose so what else should you guys know again no pixel embargo i can say whatever i want and not get in trouble so google what the hell <laughs> google 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 <laughs> google you always see every year I, I i i'm rooting for you i want you to succeed i i i, I i'm almost a pixel fanboy almost I'm not farting, it's a chair. You guys messed up so bad on the speaker, this speaker, the top speaker. You wanna know why? Because there is no speaker. The speaker is underneath the glass. So what that means is that instead of having a dedicated speaker like, um, I don't know, basically any other phone, unless I'm not aware, Galaxy, speaker, all right? iPhone, speaker. Pixel 4a speaker. What other phones do I got laying around? Uh, they're all in the other room. Every phone has a top speaker. Galaxy, or Gal yeah, no, uh, Pixel for some reason, Google, decided to not include a speaker. You know, a, a cutout for the sound to come through. So anytime you're on the phone call, it just sounds like you're talking like this basically so i'm talking to you guys right now i'm covering up the mic i'm talking to you guys this is what it sounds like through a pixel 5 basically and this is what it sounds like from a galaxy nice and crisp so this is technically stereo speakers i mean i guess you can say it that way but most of the sound is coming from you know the you know the bottom of the phone this is like kind of muffled it just sounds like someone's talking through a styrofoam cup it's it's not a deal breaker but why you guys did it good with the Pixel 4a. I can still, I can see the speaker grill right there on the Pixel 4a. You guys did so good. This is a good sounding phone. The Pixel 4a was fantastic. What, what happened with the, with, the, with the Pixel 5? And uh, you know, even the Galaxy S20 FE, the speaker grill is so small that it's, it's basically not even there, but it's, it's there, it works very very good the sound on the pixel or uh, the, the sound on the s20 fe fantastic uh so yeah let me let me shut up i'll show you guys uh some sound comparisons Now, I don't know how that sounded on your end, but on my end, again, very, very bad. So, I mean, listen, if, if, you, if you don't care about speakers, this might not be important for you, but I mean, it, I, I want good speakers. Even if it's just to watch a quick YouTube video for two minutes, I don't wanna run to the other room, grab my headphones, and then watch the video. I just wanna click play right here, right now. So, you know, if that's not important to you, good. $700 versus $700, kinda. Right now, you can go to Best Buy, pick up the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, brand new, for a $100 discount, 600 bucks. Better yet, if you activate it at Best Buy, it's $150 off. That means you get this phone for, uh, no, I was gonna say for free. You get this phone brand new for $550. Guys, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's a no brainer. I mean, come on so i mean yeah personally i have to give the total win to the galaxy even without the discount if this phone was just 700 bucks uh, you know just like this phone this is still a much better value and if you add on the the discount then that's just that's just icing on the cake so who should pick up the pixel 5 well in my opinion if you love google you love the ecosystem you already have a pixel maybe get the pixel 5 it is a google's kind of best pixel yet I say that because they always take away features, they add features and then take it away again and then they make something worse, but then they make the other thing better than last year, but then the next year they make it very confusing, dude. All I gotta say is that if you don't care about speaker quality, this phone's great. Uh, if you love Pixel as a whole, as a company, as a phone, this phone's great. The price tag, maybe wait for a discount or, or, or two. What is my cat doing?
Overall, fantastic phone. Just don't record 4K60 out in the sun or you might miss your once in a lifetime shot. So yeah. If you guys have any questions on either of the two phones, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. If you are new here, consider subscribing and uh, hitting that bell icon as well. So you stay, damn bro, why you gotta yell? My cat is so mean. Anyway, yeah, hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all my future videos. You'll get a notification the second I post it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.